just making my way to the Euro Tunnel in Kent, making that journey to France. France. pretty amazing that cars are driving onto a train and that train is going underground through a tunnel under the ocean into another country but yeah we got directed up to the upper level of the car train and it was long it's a long train to be fair um but yeah catch you on the other side Yes, so we have arrived in France, only a 35 minute train, very quick, amazing. Let's get it, vive la France. Obviously had to go to the beach, the beach was very quiet. It was a little bit cold, but it was very quiet and it's the biggest beach I've ever seen. Had to go on a little walk, hold a little meditation, a bit of thanksgiving, a bit of blessings, all of that. But yeah, beach time. got views man's got views french views look at these beautiful beautiful french views scenic beach views ocean views field views yeah pictures don't even do it justice trust me i had to take it in i had to take it in count my blessings when i was there beautiful nature
trip to the Louvre Museum, Louvre Lens. This is me taking a look at some ancient Greek sculptures. Of course, all of them are naked for some reason, not sure why, but that's history. Is this guy taking a selfie? Did phones exist back in those, those days? <laughs> Jokes. This is a very um, interesting painting. Even the exterior of the museum is like a piece of art, somewhat. Not too bad, nice architecture. I like. And of course, whilst in France, you have to get the obligatory croissants. As you can see, we went to the Le Club Cafe and the croissant got boxed. Tasty. Best croissants ever. Ever. Also try some unhealthy fatty French food. I saw this Fanta berry which I've never seen before in the UK with the cheesy fries and a chicken burger. Fire! <music> to my surprise, there was a Westfield in France, Lille. Who knew? Yes, yes, at the waffle making workshop. So here we have a couple of toppings with the strawberries and the whipped cream and the chocolate sauce and the eggs and all of that jazz bananas. Yeah, that's for later on though. So these are the contraptions, the devices which we'll be making the waffles in. You'll see more of that later. And these are our utensils that we need for the waffle making. And these are the ingredients which I will also include below in the description. So yes, we need 
170 grams of self-raising flour, but we're making double the amount, so I double the, 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 the amount the, of the flour. Some vanilla sugar, a pinch of salt, um, a little bit of baking powder, some, some semi-skimmed milk, as you can see, pouring in here. Um, I'll put the exact specific numbers in the description below. And of course, you need a lot of oil in order to make the waffle you know scrum diddly umptious scrum diddly umptious so yeah once we have all of those ingredients in our bowl guess what time it is it's time to whip it whip it whisk it so we're gonna whisk up some eggs you know these are egg whites you know we have to we have to keep them separate the, the whites and the yolk just to get that perfect consistency of the waffles again i will explain that below in the description um, and then once we actually got our egg whites into a great position, we're going to put that into the bowl and we're going to whisk it, whisk it until the consistency is looking a bit smooth, looking a bit consistent. Um, so there we go, that's me whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. Um, anyway, once the whippage is completed, what is next is to bring it over to your waffle making device. Spray a little oil on the, on the, on the, on the iron and put about 90% of the solution into the waffle making machine on one side and then again another 90% scoop into the second side and there we go voila allow it to allow it to naturally spread over the iron close the iron spin it around after counting for four to five seconds so it gets a chance to spread and once it spins you leave it for about four minutes now we complete that's the waffle done we're gonna use our tongs to peel it off the iron and then I'm gonna spread it cut it in half so it looks like a normal waffle there because it's two together and then of course this is our voila completed waffle now for the toppings you know a bit of sugar a little bit of sugar for the flavor um, after that what did I choose what did I choose after the sugar not to go too overboard on the sugar obviously it's all about the chocolate sauce to be fair I had about four different waffles so this is just one of four different toppings that I had um, topping combinations but yeah I had the chocolate sauce for the first one um, of course strawberries come on anyone else who has waffles you know you have to have strawberries when you waffles so I was cutting that up nicely not too neatly but just cutting it up because I was hungry I was ready for the waffles um, on top of that I thought to myself you know what that might be enough but I thought you know what let me add one more item let me add one more item a bit of whipped cream yeah it looks a mess I know it looks a mess but trust me it tasted beautiful handmade by myself in Belgium and then of course we had to go and get the famous Belgian fries Belgium believed they invented invented fries so I thought let's if they invented fries if they're apparently the best at making fries let's go taste them let's go try some and the fries are slightly different to be fair that is not cheese that is mayonnaise i know a thick blubber mayonnaise and to be to be fair it tastes great and now on to brew 